what's going on everyone back again with another video today's video guys we're going to be talking about hids and flickering so i haven't uploaded the photos yet or the video i should say for the car yet but yesterday i went ahead and installed some new headlights fog lights cold air intake speakers onto this car the project vehicle basically and we were dealing with flickering so after the installation, I did not try starting the car and running it until nighttime. But normally when I turn on the lights, it works. And I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I turn on the light, it works. But once I start the engine, that guy is flickering. Flip, 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 and all. So I looked up online and a lot of people are talking about getting this right here. But for the purpose of this video, I went ahead and disconnected my fix. Just because I wanted to show you guys. Basically, have it in video is better than nothing, right? So... That's the HID that we're basically dealing with. As you can see, that's the connector and all the stuff. It has an S5 ballast. I'm not sure what brand is that, but if that's, well, 12 volt, 55 watts. I bought it off of Amazon, highly rated. So I went ahead and put that in there. That's just my fix. You know, I just put this over here. Normally you're not supposed to, but I didn't want to screw it onto here. And I didn't want to just tuck it down there because I didn't want it shaking around all that stuff. So I just screwed up here made it a little bit more secure but i need to tighten that up just a bit just a hair just to get that more secured but um apart from that let's go ahead with this video so keys already in the ignition don't mind the mess i know i gotta work on my interior i'm gonna show you and don't mind the garage full of parts so you can see it's working it's working they look great man i know they look great fog lights everything is working and all so i'm going to give it a few seconds just so that you can see it in video that it does function it does working and all that stuff uh, normally some people will turn it on it goes a few seconds and then it, one just goes out could be a bad bulb in a sense like that but i'm giving you a second showing you again as you can see the light is on the light is on not trying to blind anyone or anything like that fog lights don't matter because i'm not dealing with issues down there i'm dealing with this guy right here so we're gonna go ahead and start the engine. Start the engine, voila. You can't see it, it's flickering. No matter what I do, even if I turn it on and off, turn it off, Give it a second, turn it on. Same thing, even if I turn it on and then turn the car on, same thing, it's flickering. So guys, the purpose of this video is to show you what to do. We're gonna get it. go ahead and turn this thing off right here. Basically show you my simple fix. Well, the first thing maybe you wanna try out because a lot of people online say go ahead and get this right here and hook it up. And I'm not saying maybe it might not fix your it might fix your it may or may not fix your problem. I don't know, but a lot of people online say go ahead and buy this, hook it up. This is a whole lot of extra wire. You have to run wire one wire from there to the other wire, ground it and all that stuff. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, um, but I didn't have to buy this because if you've basically are subscribed to my channel and you know I'm all about cars you know customizing cars and all that stuff so I have a lot of spare parts in the garage I mean garage is a mess so I just went ahead looked for some old stuff and apparently I had that sitting but my fix guys is just right here this is a uh, canceller HID canceller they're inexpensive um, I think you can get it off of Amazon but I did buy this from a local store over here HID and custom store over here and it's been sitting in the garage for a while so it's just nothing I had to buy today it's just been in the garage it's been sitting in a while so I think I had about four um, I know I had two in here and I had two somewhere else I can't find the other two but um this is it right here guys um, this is a canceller as you can see well I've already put it on this guy I've already put it on that guy as you can see right down there we're gonna be hooking this guy over here, okay? And uh, we'll continue with the video. I'm gonna need two hands to do this, obviously, because I have to unplug and plug. So um, give me a second while I put this guy in. 
All right, it takes literally a second or two to put it in. You need both hands basically because you have to disconnect your other connector and put it in here. So simple stuff. All you're doing basically is connecting one end into your ballast and the other end into your HID um, connector. Not your power can connector because that's connected to your um, your other whatever you want to call it. It's just connected over here. This is this is the opposite end of the HID. As you can see, this is the HID wire. Okay, so just so you know where you where to hook it up. Um, but this is a canceller, very inexpensive. I've already hooked that up. Um, I'm just gonna tuck that down there. All oh, I use the screwdriver because sometimes pulling this guy apart seems to be a pain in the butt. Sometimes it just ends up clipping my finger or something, so I use a screwdriver. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on without the engine running, so you can see that it is coming on. As you can see, it is coming on, it is functioning on all both sides. I go ahead and turn on the car. No flickering. You can see yourself. Very simple. Don't need all that extra wire. Done. Because I was pretty upset that it was it was either gonna be two things. I would either have to replace the bolt, and uh, it's very tight. It's a very tight fit over here, which would mean I may have to take out the headlight just to take off the bolt again. And I was so pissed about that last night. But um, canceller man, I'm not saying this is not a bad thing. I mean, it may be good to have a relay just in case something burns out but this this one right here man i've used it before i think it was on a chrysler 300 but normally i use this when i had say an auto switch like an auto on and auto off i think that's when i had this this um hooked up but um most cases i like to use leds because leds are plug and play less of a headache and all that stuff but with projector headlights, I figured I would go with HIDs for now. And if I don't like it, you know, I would later on switch to LEDs. But it's not going to be anytime soon because to switch out these bulbs, I have to take off the bumper again. And I don't want to have to go through that hassle. So most cases, people say when they switch, when maybe they turn on the high beams and they turn off the high beams, their lights go off. So I'm going to show you. High beams are on. Because most people they post it online that oh when they turn off their high beams as they put on my high beam on once they turn it off their thing goes off or whatever whatever the case may be that's it works okay so some people might ask me hey do you have a link to the cancer or I don't have a link because like I said, I had bought it from a local store over here. Um, this has probably been a couple years back um, when I had, a, I think a Chrysler. I'm not sure which car I had on it, but you can see for yourself, the garage is a mess. It's full of parts, car parts and all that stuff. And I have a box over there full of HIDs and LEDs. And uh, I went through them, you know, tested, tested them, trashed what was not working. So this is not something I had to buy. So please don't ask me about a link um, because I am not able to provide that. You're going to have to just use Google or go on Amazon or just type it up. HID cancelers and um, hopefully you can fi find it. Or if you have a local store that has um, that sell HIDs and whatnot, like stuff like this. I don't think AutoZ AutoZone or Pet Boys will sell this. In most cases, they might tell you we have to order it. But if you have like maybe a, a store that sells lightings, that would be a good spot to go and start with. And you can basically show them that, say this is what you're looking for, or let them know what your problem is. They might try to sell you this because this probably costs more. But um, if I'm not mistaken, it was $25 for the two. Because they, uh, the guy I bought it from, they sell it in a pair because they say, well, you always need two, right? Not just one. So they always sell them in a pair. And I believe it was $25 that I paid for this, for that. So inexpensive. And I just kept it. 
Don't mind all these extra wires. This is all was just in the back, along with those cancelers were all in this bag. So I had pulled it off a car before, and um, I'm probably gonna use those wires to put in a sub in this car. So not these wires, but this. This is just probably gonna go back in the garage, you know. So I hope this video does help you somewhat. If it does, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up, man. It helps me out, and um, you know, it helps other people out get to see these kind of things because I've seen videos online and people were just absolutely not helpful at all. They didn't demonstrate what was going on with their vehicle, so you can match basically what's going on with your vehicle to see if it's the fix that you want. So I'm definitely hoping that this video is what you were looking for and it did help you out. So if it did, like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, just hit a comment. You know, I'll try my best to get to it as soon as I can. But um, if you're going to be asking me about a link, I'm sorry. I cannot provide that information because I bought it from a local store. Like I said, uh, you might just want to go ahead and just Google for that. And um, you probably will find results. Take it easy. Be safe.